All right, Dutch, going back to the Sweet 16, I mean, I know you've been there many a times, but how's it feel this time around? It just sounds good every time you say it. You know, we're one of 16 teams left playing in the country, so we've got a chance, and it'll be the ultimate challenge. You're basically playing a road game in the NCAA tournament, you know, going to Boston to play UConn. It'll be packed with UConn fans, but uh, I like the challenge. I know our kids will, and we'll be at our best when our best is required. I know it will be an awesome challenge, but how amazing is it you get a rematch at the national championship game in back-to-back years? It's pretty incredible. So, you know, we got great respect for them, obviously, playing them last year as good as they were, national champ, and, you know, had a chance. We stayed in the game for a while, but uh, they might be better this year. So we'll get back, we'll watch tape, we'll set up a game plan and see if we can have some success against them. This felt like one of the most, if not the most, complete game you guys have played all year. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, I mean, we made the most threes we've made all year. So when the three goes in, then everybody looks good. So hopefully we can continue some of this hot shooting against UConn to give ourselves a chance. I know you guys hang your hat on defense, but it felt like it was incredibly strong tonight. I'm not sure Yale's seen a defense like that before. I mean, just what can you say about your D? We, that's how we win, defense and rebounding. And then when the shot goes in, we can win by a lot. That's what I tell the guys. Uh, if we don't shoot the well, ball well, we can still stay in the game with our defensive rebound. But when we shoot like this and defend, then we got a chance to do what happened tonight and win by a large margin. I can ask you a quick question about the travel, because this is going to be a rough turnaround. You go back to San Diego, then you guys are right back on a plane to Boston, and you play late on a Thursday night. Is that challenging on these kids? Yeah, it'll be challenging, but uh, I know every one of them would want to do it if given an alternative. So we'll get back late tonight to San Diego, maybe 2, 3 in the morning, and then fly out Tuesday for Boston. And it'll be the ultimate challenge. But they're young, they're energetic, and they'll be up for it. To be able to do it this year with the target on your back, being a reigning national champion runner-up, I mean, what does it say to be able to go back to the Sweet 16 after a run like last year? Just so we got the right kind of culture. We have kids that are about the right thing. They value winning over everything else. They put their work in, and when their moment comes, they're ready for it. Congrats, Scott. Dutch. Thank you so Appreciate much. It. Appreciate it. Jaden going back to the Sweet 16, how's that feel? Feels good, you know, the team worked real hard since, you know, July to get here, but the job's not done. We still have more work to do. Speaking of more work to do, rematch to the national championship game. You don't often get that in back-to-back -back years. Your early thoughts on the, on the game against UConn? Uh, they, we know they're a talented team. We're going to get back. We're going to game plan. Coach is going to put us in good positions and, you know, scout real well, and we're going to try to execute our game plan and get right back at them. What clicked tonight? It felt like one of the most complete games you guys have put together all year long. Uh, just March. You know, we, we're clicking at the right time. We, we're going up at the right time. So, you know, guards hitting shots. I was, you know, hitting shots, and he's locking down. Speaking of locking down, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I don't know if Yale's ever seen a defense like that before in their life. I mean, how, how good did it feel to play the D you guys did tonight? Oh, it was great. I mean, that's what we, our staple, defense and rebounding. And we really emphasized that the last few days in scout. I mean, they beat Auburn, so they were a really good team, so we had to really lock in. You getting used to this Sweet 16 thing? Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. We've got two more games to get back to the Final Four, though. All right, man, appreciate you. Congrats. Good job. Thank you. Darian, back to the Sweet 16 again. I mean, how are you feeling right now? How are the emotions? Uh, we're excited um, just to be able to do it again. A lot of teams don't be able to, aren't able to do it at all. Um, so we're doing it back to back. Um, we get to see UConn. They're a good team. We just get to, we got to lock in, know our personnel, and get a good play, game plan for them. Yeah, you led right into that for me. Rematch of the national championship game. Your early thoughts on that, having to go to Boston for it, too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're guys who like competition. Um, so I think we're, we're excited for it. Um, just to get an opportunity to play them again. Uh, obviously, they won the national championship last year. Um, we felt like we were right there. Um, to get a shot at them again, um, we're excited. I mean, what are the chances of getting a rematch of the national championship game, too? That's got to motivate you some, right? I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh, it was kind of the same thing last year. We got a rematch against Creighton. Uh, so, trying to get the same outcome. <laughs> you always put in good minutes, but the shots were falling tonight. Just What, what were you feeling? Uh, just confident. Uh, I feel like the game before, I really get a lot of great looks. Um, I feel like a lot of teams underestimate my shooting ability, so... I mean, I just was really comfortable, and I yeah, let him fly tonight. I saw you take an arm bar to the neck. I saw you get knocked down <laughs> over there. How's the body oh, feeling? <laughs> no, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm going to take a hot shower, um, get a lot of ice and a lot of medicine, um, but I'll be ready for the next game. Uh, the defensive lockdown, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I don't know if Yale's ever seen a defense like that before. I mean, uh, you guys clamped down tonight, right? Uh, I mean, that's what makes it special. Uh, that's why we hang our hats on defense rebounding. Uh, so, I mean, it's really just showing the world that I'm um, just doing it on the bigger, bigger stage and everyone's starting to I think they took a notice of that last year and we're just showing it again. What clicked tonight for everybody, though? I mean, it, it felt to me like the most complete game you guys maybe played all year. Yeah, I mean, it's just guys are ready for their moment. Uh, we got the first game out the way. I feel like that's the hardest game. Came out here a little bit more confident, a little bit looser. Um, and, I mean, guys are super confident. We just let it fly. Congrats, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good job.
Well, Mont, back in the Sweet 16, first of all, just how's it feel? How's this locker room? What are the vibes like? Man, it's amazing. Though. It's really a blessing, uh, you know, to be back Sweet 16, you know, two years in a row. So uh, very excited, and we're ready to go back there and win. It might have been the magnitude of the tournament, but it felt like, at least from the media side, that was one of the most complete games, if not the most complete game you guys have put together all year. Is that true? I mean, it felt good. I mean, everybody, I mean, we had guys hitting shots. Uh, we was rebounding on a high level, defending at a high level. So uh, try to keep that momentum going into the next game. Rematch now, national championship game, UConn in Boston. Your early thoughts on that? I mean, I can't wait. I mean, <laughs> it's not often we get another chance to, to beat, you know, a team that beat us. So, uh, you know, I can't wait. It's going to be a fun one. What was so good tonight? I mean, shots were going down, defense was good. It felt like Yale maybe had never seen a defense like that before. Yeah, I think defensively we just set the tone early, and, uh, you know, we, we kept that throughout the whole game. And then, uh, you know, we moved the ball a lot, and, you know, a bunch of different guys got off tonight. So uh, if we continue that, we're going to be hard to beat. What about the confidence going into that UConn game? Obviously, last year didn't end the way you wanted it to. How are you guys feeling going into that one? We have a lot of confidence. I mean, I feel like the only team that can beat us is ourselves, and, uh, you know, we're going to go into it with a uh, you know, positive mindset. We're going to get the win. Appreciate you. Congrats. All right. Elijah, headed to the Sweet 16. How's it feel, man? Feels great. Um, you know, it feels a lot easier than I would have expected it to be going back to back years. Um, but, you know, it's a great feeling. Yeah, not everybody gets the experience of going to back to back Sweet 16s. Let's talk about the Sweet 16 matchup. I know you guys want to enjoy this, but rematching the national championship game. Just your early thoughts on facing UConn. Yeah, um, you know, we're excited to get that rematch. Um, but it's, they got a different team than last year. Um, you know, we'll, when we'll be ready for them on, uh, on Thursday. What clicked tonight? I mean, this felt like an absolutely complete game from start to finish for you guys. Uh, you know, it's just we were due. You know, we were due for a night where we just, you know, got hot from the three-point line. Um, you know, what I really think we did was shut them down. Um, you know, we, we didn't let them shoot threes. <clears throat> Pack the paint, so um, we just execute our game plan. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I don't think they've ever seen a defense like that before in their life. I mean, is that a fair statement? Yeah, I mean, we're we're always, you know, we're a top ten defense in the country pretty much every year. So um, pretty much every team we play is seeing something they haven't seen. Awesome, I appreciate you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Micah, going back to the Sweet 16, I know you're not a crazy emotional guy, but how you feeling right now? Man, I'm good, happy. Man. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy, man. Happy for my young kids, BJ, Miles, and everybody get to experience it like I did last year, so man, I'm excited. What worked so well tonight? I mean, it felt like a complete game from start to finish. Man, defense. We focused on defense, rebounding. That was the the, the main focus uh, of this game. We knew last game they had the R wearing, so we couldn't take them lightly. So, I mean, we had to respect our opponent. We knew it was good, so we just had to come out here and play as hard as we can. We know Jaden can do Jaden things, but how about DT tonight knocking those down? I mean, what would you see out of 12? Man, that's DT for you, man. 12, man. That's a bad boy right there. I mean, I'm just excited that he got, got his shots, excited that he had to do everything he could do today. So, man, hopefully that help us moving forward. I know you guys want to enjoy this, but i got to ask you about it. Rematch of the national championship game in the Sweet 16, taking on UConn again. Your early thoughts on that? I mean, we got to be ready to play. Got to play hard. Got to I'll, I'll work through. Yeah. How hard is it going to be to go to Boston? I mean, it's a quick turnaround, all that, and take on a one seed. It's a weight game. It's going to be a weight game for us. So we got to make sure we focus on the scout and things like that this week. So we got to lock in. You getting used to this Sweet 16 thing? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess I can. Good deal, man. Appreciate it. All right, Reese, heading to the Sweet 16. You, you came to this program for this kind of opportunity, right? What's it feel like going? Yeah, it's great. I'm pretty happy. You probably can't tell because I'm very mom manner, but I'm happy. I think we played a good game. You know, today we followed the game plan. We played hard. Mild manner, but are you enjoying it? I mean, I mean, how do you let those emotions come out a little bit here? No, definitely. Um, you know, I'm happy we made it this far, but, you know, the goal is a national championship, so I'm looking forward to the next game playing UConn, so that's more of my mindset set right now, more than the game before. I know you were with USC, but you think about a rematch in the national championship game. Your early thoughts on that and, and how good UConn can be? Yeah, you know, UConn's a really good team. They play with pace. They play up there, you know, and they, they're very um, – strong with what they could do, you know, getting the basket, getting the balls to the post, playing defense, playing organized. But, you know, I have confidence in my guys that will come prepare with a game plan and be ready to play. What clicks so well? I mean, from the outside, it felt like maybe one of the most complete games, if not the most complete game you guys have played all year. Yeah, I think we're just together. You know, we're looking at the goal, which is to win a national championship, so we're not playing selfish, we're looking for everybody and, you know, believing in each other. Appreciate you, Reese. Thanks, man. Congrats, man.
Miles, before you even sit down, can I get you, man? It's a heck of a way to uh, <laughs> to go into the Sweet 16. How's it feel? I mean, it's exciting. You know, uh, whenever you get an opportunity to keep playing in a tournament like this, you got to be grateful. Talk about the minutes you put in. I mean, you had that huge block knocking down some threes. Just what was your night like? Uh, I mean, you know, I'm just really excited to play basketball with my, with my teammates. So uh, whenever I get an opportunity to step on the court, I'm going to play as hard as I can, and that's just what happened tonight. What's this feeling like for you? Seeing what happened last year now getting to be a big part of it. Shoot, let's just keep this. Let's keep this going. Let's do this for every year I'm here. <laughs> I, got, I got to ask about the Sweet 16. You're going to Boston, rematch the national championship game. Early thoughts on that. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a difficult game. We we know that. We gotta acknowledge that. But I mean, if we come in ready to play, we could be anybody in the country. So let's stand by that. And you guys look incredible tonight. Yeah. I mean, it felt like the most complete game. Did it feel that way to you guys? Oh, definitely. I mean, I think I can only think of a half where we played Colorado State at home. Maybe that half was one of the best basketball I've ever seen. But I mean, tonight we played really well, and let's just keep it going. Yeah. How do you keep that going? I mean, just staying focused. You know, we're gonna. Probably just do a little bit of film, maybe walk through tomorrow in San Diego. So get our bodies right and, you know, be ready to play in Boston. Get, get used to that East Coast time, dude. That's going to be important. Congrats, man. Thank Appreciate you. it.